Hello friend, and welcome to the slowest sim driving channel on YouTube. We return to Controller Wars today to put another controller through the test, but as I promised, today's device isn't a wheel, and it isn't a uh, joypad. It's my dusty old keyboard. Yes, we have a big gap between the wheel and the controllers. And so for reference, we need to find out if we're going to get a similar gap between the controllers and the keyboard. So we're off to Nürburgring with a Razer Chroma Black Widow. I don't know what's about to happen. I haven't practiced this. I haven't tested it because, you know, that'd be wrong. So let's go. Obviously, setting up the keyboard to work with Gran Turismo Sport uh, was no easy task. And if that's something you'd be interested in learning how it was done, let me know down below in the comments. But without any further ado, let's head straight into it. The first problem I have is that I cannot feather the throttle problem properly. Um, obviously, it's all or nothing on a keyboard. It's ones and zeros. You, you don't really have analog keyboards. Another thing that have to worry about here is the fact that I don't have the muscle memory for this. Once upon a time, perhaps, uh, when I was much younger and keyboards came attached to computers, it was all one thing. You know, uh, this is how we play the games, and whereas you'd use WASD these days and a mouse for keyboard controls, it was off. Uh, back then, it was more common to see QA and OP. So that would have both hands on the keyboard and that would allow for easy access to any additional keys you might need. The macros or fire buttons or action buttons. There you go, I guess we'll speed up now. Uh, so that's what I'm using. That's what I was used to using back then. Obviously it's been well over a decade, probably well over two decades since I was about to use a, a QAOP configuration uh, another issue I've got is that because of the size and shape of the keyboard basically it's nature uh, I can't sit in the rig and do this so I'm, I'm looking diagonally across the room as I race the seating position matters as I'm sure you're aware uh, in your own races I um, I haven't got manual gears on because I simply don't have enough fingers if I was one of those cyborgs from Ghost in the Shell, I could probably have managed that, but then if I was a cyborg from Ghost in the Shell, I probably wouldn't be doing a, a time comparison video on a keyboard. Let's go around, but I just saved it. But yeah, this is already going to be a, a nightmare. It's going to be okay. Probably not going to talk much in this video. I'm sure you'll appreciate. Because I'm going to be concentrating. I don't think it's, worry, it's worth uh, worrying too much about the times of the controllers because, to be honest, we're not going to get anywhere near them. I'm just going to focus now on, on getting used to this keyboard and then we'll have ourselves a bit of a hot lap or a, a lukewarm lap. Right, that's the warm up lap then, and that was almost a minute off the pace. Uh, which is pretty horrendous. Let's see what we can do with this. Not hot lap, we're not going to push too hard, but... Uh, you know... Timed lap, shall we call it. A better idea of what I'm doing now with the uh, the keyboard in relation to how the, the car is reacting to it. Although that's... Uh, one of those things that keep happening. Never mind. Look, it's just hard, okay? There you go. We've got some speed up now. I know this is a great keyboard. I, I, I'm not going to say anything against this keyboard. 
But I'm pretty sure a mechanical keyboard is, is not what you want for playing a racing sim. Although, if you do want a mechanical keyboard, or any other new, used, or retro hardware or software, check out the link in the description to Button Bashers, our channel sponsor. We're going to be showcasing a lot of stuff from there soon. Yes, I've got some really cool new and retro gear that I'm going to be showing off, uh, reviewing and racing. It's the racing bit I'm looking forward to. As you can see from the time I'm, you know, getting the idea with this keyboard. But to catch up, I still can't talk much because it's still taking a lot of concentration. Um, using the keyboard is almost like having four controllers at once, you know, because you're using all four fingers. And when you have to correct, you have to go completely the opposite direction the way you've just been. Oh, my goodness. It doesn't help that this challenge involves not using traction control. But as I said, this is all or nothing with it being a keyboard, so it is full throttle or no throttle. Oh, just had to take the hit there with the kerb. Oh, dear. Okay, never mind. <laughs> this is... Taking a lot of effort just to keep it on track. Obviously, Gran Turismo was never designed for keyboard. Never, ever. So it's, it's my fault that I suck at this. It's nothing to do with the game. It's nothing to do with the keyboard. Hey, it's not too bad, right? No, it's terrible. I know, I know it's terrible. There you go, we're getting some speed up. We're going to do the absolute best we can do, aren't we? Um, I don't know how good that's going to be. We're going to find out. Oh, snap. Oh, there we go. We're, we are... We're making up time on the warm-up lap, so I've definitely improved. I don't think I'm going to find a minute. I certainly don't think it's going to be, say, uh, hassling the Nacon. If you haven't seen the other videos, then check them out on this playlist because I've tested a wheel in two different configurations. We've tested a Sony DualSense, the uh, the Nikon Compact controller. There is more controllers and more wheels and more things that aren't wheels, controllers, or keyboards. So look out for those. And I'm going to do the occasional head-to-head -head on certain other games as well. Just in case, you know. But now, we're doing well. Make up time! No! Why does I have to say that? Why does I have to ruin it? Now, this is where it gets tough, because I've got to get the car moving. I've got to get it moving without traction control. There's the ghost just spinning off. Uh, it's sad times for the ghost as well. We're not going to lose any time, really, against the ghost, I don't think. A couple of seconds, maybe. So easy to uh, catch the brake as well. Going to corners, because we can't really put the brakes on, you know, just gently. You can't trail brake when your brake is just all on or off. Ooh, oh, snap. Not making too many more mistakes. Here we go. If you saw the previous videos, you know that I'm not good in this sector. Even when I'm using a controller I'm familiar with, that's made for the game, so... Uh, this is Nightmare Central. Oh, the back end did not want to stay with me then. But we survived. If you can catch a, a slide on a keyboard, which gives you no tactile feedback whatsoever then uh, you know you're doing alright you're getting used to it here we go steady on steady on oh no <laughs> a little bit carried away with myself never mind never mind we're doing alright 
As I said, all I want to do is set a benchmark for the keyboard. Just show it's not always the controller, it's the type of controller it is. Oh, there you go, we're still pointing in the right direction. What a legend, I am not. Uh, go on, round you go, yes. Oh. Of course, I have to do a push lap after the timed lap. I don't think that lap's going to go very well. I'll give it a go, but I don't think it's going to go very well at all. Here we go. I'm sure the keyboard can handle this bit. Uh, I know I can. This is pretty much just a straight line, just the, the occasional correction. When I tap the key like that, you can barely even see the red dot move. Well, we're already slower than the slowest controller. But I think that's going to happen anyway. Into the seven minute bracket. That's uh, pretty horrendous. Can we get it stopped? Can we get it stopped? Oh. Oh, pretty good. Oh, nearly ends up in the pit lane, though. <laughs> Have to be careful with that wheel spin. It can catch you out. Let's push a bit harder. We can get around the first corner. Get out of the way, Ghost. We're coming through. Here we come. The power of speed compels you. Whoops. 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 Shortcut. Uh, like I said, <laughs> the push lap never works out well. Ah, uh, never mind. So, 7.29. Uh, I'm just trying to work out which which buttons are set to what. There we go. So, 7.29. What's that taught us? Uh, well, this is a keyboard. This is not made for Gran Turismo Sport. Gran Turismo Sport was never designed to work with this. So it's not taught us anything other than we have a very bottom of the pile benchmark. And um, and that benchmark is for something which is purely digital. Which is purely ones and zeros. You know, the wheels at the top of the, uh, the top of the bracket, the pedals and the steering wheel have the widest range of analog motion of anything we've tested so far and it goes to show that and this has the lowest motion of anything analog so far because this has nothing analog and so this is the slowest and i think what it goes to show is that uh, as much as you can overdrive the car and you can push hard ultimately precision is key precision is everything even if you have to go a little bit slower and back off a little bit if you're modulating your throttle to minimise your wheel spin, if you're trail braking, uh, just screwing a little speed here and there, if you're putting in tiny little inputs, you are going to be so smooth that you are going to get that, that better time, even if it might feel like you're not pushing as hard. So there we have it. Uh, another controller down, I'll put the times upon the screen. In fact, I've probably already put the times upon the screen when I edited, so just ignore me. So I hope you join us again next time. Am I going to be... Uh, am I going to be racing a, a wheel? A controller? A keypad? Or something else? Join me again next time to find out. Thank you to my Discord for keeping me inspired. And until, you see, until I see you again, be good to yourself, be good to those around you. Bye-bye for now.